YouTube, high level, high level, what's good? It's your girl Francine. Today is Wednesday, hopefully. I'm we're betting on Wednesday. And today we are talking about something that everybody in your name mama been talking about for the last couple months. And I decided to join on the bandwagon because hey, I need to stop watching the same five shows that I watch every other day. Uh, and so I decided to check in on Invincible a show that has been adapted from a comic book um and i love superhero things and i love superhero movies and tv shows so i was like i should love this i should be down for this and i am but for so many different reasons so many different reasons okay i will say there will be spoilers in here if you don't like like uh, superhero things i still think you will very much like the show um, I will say that so maybe watch it before this even if you do see this and you get all the spoilers I still suggest you watch the show because To be quite honest the superhero part was kind of secondary to the main part Which is so di like it's essentially a show about family <laughs> Kinda and about mystery like who why who done it and why and also why and also why why <laughs> but let me not talk about it like that let's get into kind of my thoughts my review kind of give you an overview of what the actual show is about and again like i said spoilers to uh, the end which oh my god <laughs> so let's get into it okay so the first episode we kind of get the gist of everything right so we find out that there are superheroes and there are of course when there's heroes there are villains and we see we're at the white house and there are these two blue guys i think they're called the morler twins or the morler brothers they are also relevant to parts of the show so i gotta remember what their name is the yes the morler twins i wrote it down look at me um and they come to the white house they're trying to get in to get to the president and the guardians of the globe show up i keep calling them the guardians of the galaxy when i wrote it down and they're the guardians of the globe okay so completely different superheroes okay but the guardians of the globe show up and you know they they kick him butt bow bow but they're kind of needing some help so in comes omni man <laughs> omni man comes in and he helps them and you can tell they're not close but he's there you know to help right um, and you know he, they, they defeat the Morla twins they lock them up bam great we find out that Omni man he has a family he has a son he has a wife and his son is starting to develop powers because he is part Viltrumite which is the, the planet that Omni man is from and they have superpowers they are strong they can fly they do all these things and they you know had those abilities and so he's he's becoming a t he's becoming a teenager he's i guess going through puberty and that's part of puberty right um and so he gets these powers and his dad's trying to train him and you know he feels like he can't live up to his dad and he wants to be like his dad and he wants to do what his dad does and he wants to be you know that superhero which he thinks his dad is and <laughs> and you know he is very much struggling with that coming to terms with you know how he might not be able to live up to that high expectation and you know his dad's like you know you gotta train you gotta make sure that you're ready to do things that you may not want to do and again we'll get there but <laughs> you know there's this huge thing with him and his dad and his dad takes him to go to the tailor to get a suit for him to be you know an actual super so that he can see you know have that and he won't have to be burned because he was wearing his janky behind outfit one time when he was out trying to fight crime and his dad takes him to the tailor and he says you know you have to come up with a name and he comes up with the name invincible which is the title card right <laughs> we get the title card because that's the name of the show right so he says he's invincible which is a pun throughout because my guy gets his butt kicked on a regular okay <laughs> He may be invincible because he ain't dying from all these butt kicks he getting, okay? So <laughs> he um he goes he gets a suit and then we cut to the end of this episode. <laughs> they started off like with a bang, okay? Because first of all, let me tell you, I am watching this the first time I'm like trying to watch this. I'm in bed. I'm trying to go to sleep. I'm like, let me check it out. See what like the kind of get the gist. Because let me get the first episode is a gist. So I was only planning on watching the first episode. And then this happened. And I was like, like I gotta go to sleep. It's like 11 o'clock. Why? Why? So we get, we get to the end of the episode. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. 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 I'm so
Guardians of the Globe, right? They get they get a little transmission and it's like, you know, meet up at Globe HQ. They get there and Omni-Man is there. And then my guy kills everyone. <laughs> he literally kills everyone. Like he, he obliterates everyone, blood, gore, everywhere. And I'm just like, what the f is going on? and they all have superpowers they're beating him up and he ain't dying he's still killing everybody they punching him and it's an all-out war right so he ends up eventually killing every single person but they beat him up so much that he's now passed out he's in ICU he is in a coma like he is out okay and the GDA which is the organization that has all the superheroes and you know the help with all the issues that go on in the world they um come in and they take everybody and they're like yeah there's seven people dead and then one person almost dead and they're like hmm why didn't he die and also there is no evidence that no anyone else came in here hmm so they're a little suspicious it's suspicious and i think this is the second episode so i'm kind of skipping to the next episode uh, because it ends after he kills everybody so then everybody comes in they take him to the hospital they you know they're, they're searching the the place and there's this demon detective which is interesting who was like yeah, he, he from jump was like this is fishy this sounds fishy there's no other person like i said no other person's been in here there's blood everywhere he's the only person that's still alive doesn't sound right and so you know that's going on we see him in the hospital and we also see um invincible he is trying to you know hone on his superpowers so he gets in with this team called the teen team okay and i want to call them the teen titans i was like come on why y'all <laughs> so i kept because i tt and i was like teen titans oh no it's t team teen team Anyway, the team team, they have Adam and Eve who goes to school with uh, Invisible. We find that out. And his and Invisible's name is Mark and his dad's name is Nolan. Even though I'm probably going to end up calling him Invisible Omni Man. Uh, I do know their names though. I did write down names. Look at me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so there's Adam and Eve, there's Rex, there's Duplicate, there's a the robot guy, and they are the team. And they are trying to fight these Flexions or Flex things. They're aliens, right? And that's the whole episode, the second episode. They're trying to fight them and figure out how they can fight them because they are kind of unstoppable, but they keep dying off. And essentially, throughout this this season, you see him, Invincible, honing in on his powers, but you consistently, like I said, keep seeing him get beat up. Like, he gets beat up in this fight. Then he finally finds out that when he's angry, he gets powerful, so he starts beating people up because he's angry. And that, I thought they were going to embellish on that more. They really didn't. Uh, I kind of wish they did because I wanted to see where that could go. They, I mean, I guess they kind of did. Look, anyway. Anyway, so then at the end of this episode, Omni-Man, no one, ends up getting out of the coma and his wife realizes that he's being kind of mean for no reason, just being mean to people. And, you know, his wife is not superhero. His wife is a plain woman and, you know, you can kind of see throughout that she's trying to be the voice of reason the voice of humanity in the situation where he omni man kind of is not he's especially since mark got his powers he's been kind of mean and to mean to his son he's been mean to other people and she really realizes this when he gets out of the hospital when he starts yelling at the receptionist to give him his suit and um you know then you know we, we see like i said they, they're they're looking over everything at the globe hq and they realize and the demon guy is like i think that he did it I'm talking about Iron man and they, they were like no you know that doesn't make any sense but they're starting to think he did it too because it just the only thing that makes sense like these there's seven superhero people and they somehow got overpowered by somebody who had left no trace whatsoever it don't add up right so then we go to the next episode so then we get to the next episode and the next episode is they're they're showing the guardians of galleries galaxies see guardians of the galaxy guardians of the globe guardians of the globe's funeral and everyone finds out that they're dead because they were trying to keep it secret because i mean they are the biggest protectors of the world and so because of that they can't really just say they're dead because then they will invite people to come in and start doing crazy stuff because they have no one to protect them right so, you know, they didn't want to put it out too soon. So then they finally put it out that the Gardens of the Globe are dead. There's a whole funeral. Everyone's sad. Everyone's upset. And 
we um, see that, you know, Omni Man speaking at the funeral and he's kind of like, hey, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And he's acting like none of it matters. Like he is so unharmed, un untouched by the fact that these people are dead. Um, <laughs> And his son and his wife are both kind of figuring out, like, why are you not caring? Like, this is important. And he's like, eh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And so then we see, you know, there's my favorite villain so far, the guy who uh, who can, like, make earthquakes. He is hilariously good. That was, that's what made this episode funny. Um, but, yeah. And then they're also, oh, that's another thing. They're trying to rebuild the Guardians of the Globe. So, you know, they have Rex. They have Duplicate, Robot, Monster Girl. And I forgot the other lady name is. The one that can, I'll put it here because I'm gonna look it up. And Black Samson. So they're all the new Guardians of the Globe. Apparently Black Samson used to be a part of the Guardians of the Globe and he lost his powers and whatever, right? So that's that's also going on this time. They're fighting this guy called Seismic, I think Dr. Seismic. And that's, you know, that, that was hilarious. I thought that was really funny. And then the end of this episode, we see the demon detective come to Omni Man's house and talk to his wife and be like, you don't think anything is a little suspicious about him being the only person that's alive in this situation and also he didn't tell you anything about what happened? All he says is he doesn't remember anything? Nothing suspicious about this at all? No, okay. <laughs> and he works, he goes off, the demon detective goes off and I don't even know that he was in his house because whenever the demon guy comes in, there's like a cold because I guess he's a demon. So it gets really cold. Um, and so his wife starts thinking, yeah, he got a point. And that's the end of the episode, right? So then we go to the next episode. And one thing I didn't mention in the last episode is that the Mueller twins, like I said, they got locked up. Someone left them out, right? And we found out that it's robots. Oh my God. He wants them to do some type of DNA replication. Um, so that you know he can they didn't say in this episode why but it ends up being because he is in a body that's like messed up i don't know if they really said what happened to it but his body is kind of messed up and so he wants to put his body into another person's body because he starts falling in love with monster girl uh he wants to you know be able to actually do some stuff so he won't be a robot you know what i'm saying um uh, so he wants to get an actual real body and he contracts the Mueller twins to do it and you know gets them out of jail and he's using them essentially to do this so let me get to the next episode the next episode they're mostly concentrating on the mystery of what's happening they want to keep eye the gda wants to keep eyes on omni man to kind of make sure you know because they are suspicious of him being the person who did it they're keeping eyes on him the demon slayer demon slayer i'm, I'm putting like stuff from other things into this the demon detective the demon detective is kind of investigating him. Omni Man and his wife, you can kind of see there's some tension. So he takes her on vacation out of the house. While they're out of the house, the demon detective comes in and starts investigating. Also, at this time, Invincible goes to Mars because there's a mission to Mars and it's supposed to be protecting them and helping them in Mars so that they can kind of look at him and see, you know, is he as bad as his dad? Like, is he at a good playing field so that he can have help them if they need help, the GDA. So, you know, that's going on. We go to Mars, we find out that there's Martians on Mars with these little cichlids, and one of the cichlids gets on the astronaut, which controls all of them, and they can, like, take over worlds. So that's gonna probably come up in the next season, because they don't explain it in this one, but it looks like it's gonna be the next season, so that's gonna be fun. Um, but like I said, he, Omni Man is on vacation with his wife. He tells her, look, they think I did it. And she's like, well, did you? And he was like, no, of course not. Mm. Um, <laughs> and he was like, do you trust me? And she was like, I guess, like, okay. <laughs> and that to me is hella suspicious and it was to her as well. So, okay. So that makes the next episode. The next episode is essentially, to me, a foreshadowing of the ending of this. And if you really know, if once you find out the ending and you think about this episode, this really foreshadows Omni Man's ideas at the ending of this video, at the ending of this show, because this episode is essentially Invincible proving that he can help people, right? He really wants to help people. And one thing I didn't mention, he has a girlfriend throughout this show named Amber, and he essentially keeps messing up with his girlfriend. Like he's missing things because he's out saving the freaking world, right? 
So she's getting upset that he's not there for her and she wants him to be there for her to go to this community center so he can, you know, serve, they serve food to people at the community center. And that's supposed to be like how he proves that he's really for her. But he's supposed to be helping this guy named Titan who is in debt with Machine Head. Machine Head is kind of like the mob boss of the city and they're supposed to be helping Titan get out of debt with Machine Head because he won't let him go. They are going to fight him and like destroy him, blah, blah, blah. And all of this, and, and, and Invincible takes that to his dad and it's like, you think I should do it? And he's like, no. You don't know this man, he could be tricking you. At the end of the day, you don't really know any of these people. You don't need to save these people. You need to look at the bigger picture. These people are not that important. We should be doing bigger things. And once you realize the ending of this, this show, you're like, ooh, yeah, this, this really shows that his, mm, we're getting there. Anyway, he's like, these people are important. We have bigger things to do. Why are you wasting your time on this? This is a waste of time. And his mom is like, it's not a waste of time. You could be helping people. This is the point of these powers you have to help people. And his dad's like, whatever, okay. And you can still see, even though his, she, he said that he didn't do it, his wife is still thinking he being different. He acting different. He on some different type time now. And so Invincible goes with Titan to fight Machine Head. Come to find out Machine Head had a whole army of people. Then he's, their people are killing him. And then Guardians of the Globe show up. It's a whole battle royale. And Invincible, Monster Girl, and Black Samson all get obliterated, okay? And, um, well, Titan does, but not really, because Titan technically was using him in order to get rid of Machine Head so that he could be atop of the totem pole. Now, he's doing it to help people instead of hurt people, but he did kind of use him. So, unfortunately, his dad was kind of right. Uh, <laughs> but one thing you do realize is that his dad was there the whole time. So his dad could have saved him, his dad could have helped him. He didn't do it at all. I guess this was for him to teach him a lesson to not help people, which again, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the what episode am I on? That's the fifth episode. So that's the fifth episode, and then we get to the sixth episode, which okay, you know, um, so Invincible is not being a good boyfriend, so he takes his girlfriend up to Upstate University, right? And because William, who was his best friend, I have not mentioned him either, is going up there to meet his little boyfriend because William is gay. For all for inclusion. And this episode had Justin Roiland in it, and I was like, I know that voice so way too well. Way too well. <laughs> but it didn't have Justin Roiland. I just wanted to point that out because that was so like Okay. So we're we're okay. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> but they're in upstate you and there's this guy. Of course, Sinclair, D.A. Sinclair, he's very nerdy, very pretentious, and he's apparently building super people, right? He, he's like, he thinks that the problems with the hum, human body can be fixed with technology, and he's building these super people, and he, one of his super people get out of the, because he's in a sewer, they get out, and um, he starts beating up his friend, and so he, will, uh, Mark, turns into Invincibles to help everyone. But Amber sees it as, you just left. <laughs> you left me here. And she's very mad they break up, essentially. And William finds out, you look kinda like Mark. Are you Invincible? And he is. He finds out that that is him. And you know, that's kind of how he comes out to him. And you know, uh, William's boyfriend ends up getting kidnapped and turned into a soldier and he is really distraught by that they go down there they beat up Sinclair and they take all the soldiers from them with GDA you know they they take them and that is pretty much the gist of that episode him and Amber break up and William knows that he is invincible now and to be quite honest not much else happens in this episode um oh I lied there's more I had to check my notes so also in this episode <laughs> Omni Man's wife finds his suit with all the blood on it and she takes it to the tailor who it analyzes the blood and finds out it has every guardian of the globe's blood on it and the first blood is from his hand which means he stroked first which means he fought them first which essentially means he killed everybody and she finds this out and at the end she gets a little tipsy and she's like why why did you kill them? Why? Like, why did you do this? And he was like, you're drunk. 
uh, you don't know what you're talking about. She's like, no, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know you did this, yada, yada. And they kind of go their separate ways. That's the end of the, the end of the episode. So, whew, okay. His wife knows he did it. And okay, everything's coming together. So the next episode. So the next episode, it's essentially when it starts getting real good, okay? <laughs> We see, like I said, Robot trying to build a new body that's going on. He gets that body, he turns on the Mueller twins and ends up, you know, telling them, y'all going back to jail. And then he gets a page that says, hey, come to, come to Glo uh, Globe HQ. Because Omni Man, now that him and his wife are going through it, his wife kicks him out. He's like, all right. It's just about to hit the fan. I need to get my son. So he goes to find his son and GDA takes uh, Debbie, who's his wife. I never said what her name is. Takes his wife and brings her back to the, the, the GDA headquarters and is trying to find him, trying to find Invincible before his dad gets to him so that they can see if he would help them against his dad because they know he did it they been knew he did it they were just trying to figure out why they're realizing there really was no reason why like there's he wasn't being mind control there was no legitimate reason and they to this point don't really know why but they know that he's dangerous at this point so he's going to find invincible invincible's with enemy he's all sad oh my god my girlfriend's on me i don't know what to do like girl <laughs> this is not the right time <laughs> this is not the right time for this problem so they <laughs> His dad is trying to find him and the GDA is essentially trying to distract him so that he doesn't get to him because if, if Invincible and him are together and they are with each other, they're pretty much unstoppable at that point. Um, so eventually, um, the Mueller twins for some reason are trying to build up Immortal, who was one of the Guardians of the Globe, so I guess they could fight, they could brainwash him. They were trying to brainwash him with this uh, necklace that you can use for mind control didn't work because he is enraged once he comes back to life because he knows that omni man tried to kill him so he is finding out he went to go find omni man they fight and bam 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 and invincible ends up finding his dad and invincible sees his dad murder again <laughs> so my guy wanted to die twice okay <laughs> murder immortal just kills him slices my man in half so he like oh i'm dead what's going on <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a little weird and we end the episode with uh we need to talk <laughs> no nah, we need to talk i think so and then we get to the last episode which girl okay <laughs> the last episode we find out why he did all of this we find out everything apparently he lied about where he's from he's from viltrum but Viltrum isn't this nice elevated city. Viltrum, at one point, they killed off all the weak people so that they can have a strong army and defeat other planets because they wanted to take over the, the galaxy, take over everything. So he was sent to Earth to take over and he wanted to have a son so that he could have someone else with him so that he could also fight with him in order to defeat and weaken earth so that's why he killed all the guardians of the globe because he needed them to be gone because they were the most powerful people on earth so that they can come that the viltrumites can come and take over and so he thought that his son was just going to be down for that he now mind you this is one of the only gripes i have with this explanation right i get it he was sent here he was trying to pretend like he was a normal person so that he can you know trick everyone and then kill everybody behind their back like they would never see it coming he went to have a son so that he could have a companion to actually help him in killing everyone why didn't you tell your son this this whole time because you essentially had him raised as a human he was raised as a human yes he knew he was half alien right but he was raised as a human he had no idea that this was his mission he had no idea this is what you were here for he didn't know any of this so you're just like oh yeah so now we are about you gonna be loyal to this planet you ain't never been to you ain't never seen nobody from there besides me and i've been acting like a normal person this whole time but now we just switch and slip we, we slip in the script we're gonna do it we're gonna do this now and he's like uh no uh, actually i care about my family and i care about my friends i don't want to kill anybody and he's like <laughs> really and he destroys a whole part of chicago he just destroys 
all of Chicago. He's like, these people are nothing. They literally, we live for millions of years and these people will die in 70 years. This is nothing but a blip in time for us. None of this matters. You need to come and work for me. And he's like, no, I love these people. And his dad then decides to beat the ever-loving shit out of <laughs> Like, One thing I knew about this show before I watched it was everybody was like, yo, if we got an award for the worst dad in the world, it'd be him. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. The only reason why he stopped beating him, because he said at one point, I can make a new kid. <laughs> it's like, damn. <laughs> I can make a new kid. You're 17 years ain't nothing to me. This is, this is like, this is like five minutes in my lifetime. I can make a but he stops because he has a memory about him playing t-ball well not t-ball softball when he was younger and it made him think about how you know his son and his wife they were important to him because mind you i i did not say he said on this because they're recording him gda is recording him his wife is like a pet to him she's really not that significant because she's just somebody to give him his child and that's all she was there for like since so you were nothing <laughs> And his wife is seeing this and it's like, I thought you loved me though. <laughs> I thought you loved me. So that's like, but he still kind of has some humanity in him somehow, some way. And he stops it and he flies off. And then we cut to kind of, you know, of course, Invincible is B2A pulp. So he has to recover. That takes about two weeks. Um, everyone's they're, they're they're saying that he got uh, cuz there's so much that went on I'm not gonna tell you everything but they're saying that he died in a gas leak explosion so that's how they're gonna explain how his you know Omni man is gone because no one knows who he is they're trying to protect his cover even though he looks exactly I can never understand how like superheroes have super identities because they look exactly the same like you know exactly who they are but anyway um, <laughs> Yeah, so they're trying to say he, he died in a gas explosion. You can go home, we're gonna give you the money to kind of get your life together. And, you know, he's sad because his dad essentially just said to him that he don't give a flying squirrel about him or his mom, like, and he just disappeared. And one thing I didn't mention is that there was a guy who came in like episode three, episode four, um, who was supposed to be doing a, um, to see if the planets have someone to take care of them, like to, to protect them from harm. He comes back and is like, we found there's a ghost from my on your planet. And he was like, yeah, we, we already know that. <laughs> and he was like, well, ghost from my, they will not stop until they take over our planet. And the fact that he left his post is kind of weird because that never happens. We don't know what's going to happen and we need to make sure that you're protected because they might be coming back. And that's kind of, we see a montage of all the things that's kind of happened in this season. We see the Motor Twins are going back to jail. We see, you know, the Guardians of the Globe, they're coming together as an actual team because that was the thing. They weren't really great as a team. We see um, now that the GDA has the guy Sinclair, he's building a bunch of soldiers for them. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, we have Dr. Seismic in, in the underground dealing with these like rock people. So we want to see if that goes. Like, there's a bunch of foreshadowing as to stuff that's going to happen in the next season. And you know, of course Debbie is upset about her husband doing what he did and leaving them. He's, uh, uh, Invincible's upset because his dad kind of just left and we don't know what's going to happen next. So yeah. Invincible, it was definitely a very wild ride. I really enjoyed it, not just for the superhero parts, of course that was fun, but the who, like the finding out why from the first season was very like confusing because it didn't make any sense until like, damn, okay, shoot. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, finding out how he was going to be as a superhero, Invincible, seeing, you know, why his dad was a bad guy, seeing all these things kind of unfurl. It's a really good show. You know, like I said, he had a girlfriend. That whole love story was cute. Um, everything was pretty good. And I am very much anticipating the second season. I know it is a comic book, so I could probably read up and see what's going to happen next. But I like a little mystery. I do. So I'm going to wait and see what happens next season. But yeah, that is 
Invincible is a very good show. And that's my thoughts and kind of the basic overview. And yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button, comments, questions, concerns, and suggestions, because this was technically a suggestion even though I was planning on doing this anyway, but put them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it if you did. And I will see y'all on Friday. Friday, yeah. I'll see you on Friday. <laughs> Bye.